What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone and I want to welcome you back to a brand new video as we have another fun one coming at y'all as I just bought a collection and I want to share it all with y'all and can't wait to go through these cards with y'all. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back everybody and let's now get into the video and so as I said in the intro, I just bought a thousand dollar Pokemon card collection off of fake Facebook marketplace. It was one that pretty much just fell into my lap, looked online, just scrolling through Facebook like most of us do, and I came across a pretty interesting collection and worked it out with the owners of the collection, got them to actually come a little bit down on the price, and found, I think we finally settled it right about 950 total and had it sent in two waves, of course, just to make sure that the deal was done right. Really easy couple to work with. The husband was selling his collection because it was about that time and got a bunch of really cool cards. I was really excited for it because this had a lot of 2012 to 2016 era Pokemon cards. I do have a bunch of old vintage ones here that I'll get to show y'all. And I've already kind of gone through and sorted a lot of these, put them all in the top loaders. They were all in a binder. And so I've been working on getting all these sorted. And so you're gonna see some of these in top loaders, some of them just in penny sleeves and some of them even in top loader sleeves. And so, gonna try and organize it. Some of these are gonna be for the PC. I'm probably gonna keep some of the little bit higher dollar ones that, you know, really caught my eye. And then a lot of these, I think I'm actually gonna be looking to kind of do a little bit of a flip. Maybe look to grade some of these and you'll see some of the collections that I'm gonna go into here in a little bit, as those are gonna be some of the big money makers, I think, out of this little collection. See if I can at least, at a minimum, get my money back, which I'd expect I would. And if not, see, you know, what little profit we can make on top of that. And so I'd love to get to hear y'all's opinion at the end of the day on how you think I did. Would you have spent a thousand dollars on this collection? And we will get into it here pretty quick. Before we get into actually looking through all the cards in this collection, I do want to remind y'all that we do have the 75 subscriber giveaway still going on. All you have to do is check out the video down in the description below. That'll be actually showing you what we got, but it's going to be your choice of either the Shining Fates ETB, the two 2020-2021 NBA Prism Cellos, or two 2021 NFL Prestige Blasters. Take your pick, all you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and that'll be one entry. Do that on all the videos, going back to my giveaway video, and you can have up to a dozen entries plus. And so, with that all done, let's start looking at what we got here. And so like I said, I've been doing a lot of sorting. I've kind of done these, um, the way this collection worked is some of these are by like subset, because um, there is a lot of uh, certain certain collection cards. I don't want to spoil them just yet. Um, some of my higher dollar or more, what I consider more rare ones I set off to the side. Um, the rest of these are pretty much just a bunch of reverse hollows or, and rares. Or sorry, yeah, reverse rares and hollow rares. And then as well as any, uh, you know, any EXs or full arts. And then we also have a little bit of vintage too. And so we're going to start off with some of the reverse rare cards that we got in this collection. Start off with some Jolteons. And so I will say most of these cards are not in perfect condition. Like I said, the one thing is that they were kind of in some of the, I would say, less better quality card sleeves. You can see some of them are a little bit better, but a lot of them do have edging issues. Um, and so a little unfortunate, like that one's not too, too bad a condition, but if you turn to the light, you can see the edge. Um, but like I said, did get some pretty, pretty cool ones out of this. Most of them are probably at least, you know, PSA 7.5, or sorry, CGC 7.5 or higher. You know, I bet most of these I will, if I choose to send a grade, will be CGC. Just a little bit cheaper, of course, to do these. That's a fun Gengar from Phantom Forces. And so you can see some of these, I got two of those. A bunch of Porygon Zs from the X and Y series era. There's a Metagross. I love how they did these full art reverses. Another Jolteon from Plasma. Don't know if that's see the back of that one that one's definitely in the, not the worst condition 2013 plasma freeze i believe that is sick looking car there and here's a few plasmas we got glalie masquerade ursarine so you can see that we have a pretty wide collection already just in these reverse rares ocarona i had a bunch of these entes <laughs> just cruising through those restaurant from i think Let's see, I think that's Legendary Treasures, Evolutions, got some, oh, that Gujar Hollow made it in. I moved that to the other stack. 
sneaky, sneaky Gujo. Gyaradoses. I like these full art Gyaradoses. Right there. Nice reverses. We even got a little heart gold, soul silver arrow. And even some diamond and pearl. And so those are a quick look at the reverse hollows. I will say those are not the most exciting out of these, but these are what I consider to be some of, you know, the lower end cards coming out of the set. We've got a stack full of those. I think next, let's go into the vintage cards that I've got. So a bunch of base set two and base set gym challenge cards made their way into this. So let's see. And so these are all penny sleeved, I will say, because I think I'm actually going to take these to my local card store. See if the owner would give me a little bit of a decent deal as he can flip these a lot faster than me. Not quite worth all the shipping costs sometimes, but Pokédexes, Switches, Defenders, Energy Search, Energy Flows, Gust of Wind, a bunch of Trainers, like I said, a bunch of Base Set 2, Krabby, I think he did split up by types, so you can see Cloyster, Starmie from Base Set 2, I think that's a Neo Set Meryl, Celio we got from, I think that's what, Hidden Powers. Staryu, Seal, Psyduck, Nidoran, Misty's Goldeen, we got some Gym Challenge cards, a bunch of Misty's stuff, Mystic Seeking, got Brock's Vulpix, Blank's Ponyta. You can see a pretty good overall just group. Uh, we even got base set to Char or Charmeleon, base set to Charmander. Just cruising through all these. Just a bunch of them. nice little Dratini from base set too. Got even a Delta Species Kabuto. A bunch of some of the EX series, Seedra, Artfetch, Omni, Mankey, Slugma, Drowsy, another Slugma. Got an old Abra. Horsey with a chunk taken out of it. Don't see that too much every day. Tangla, Metapod, Electric, and High Pressure Stadium. So like I said, a pretty good range of them, you know, it's just falling through the back. You can see, you know, some of these are not in the greatest, greatest conditions. And so I think it's easier, you know, none of these do my initial screening really seem much like graded, you know, graded quality cards, but they're going to be good to the right collector. And so definitely wanted to hold on to those. And then we also have a, let's see, put these here in this stack. And so that's, I think, a good quick look at some of the vintage singles. And we have a lot more. Now these I put in top loaders because I think either they have a potential to be graded or I think I'd rather sell them myself, just get a little bit of better margin on them. And so, don't wanna grab too, too many. But you can see we did get the promo, the 34 Ente. This one I think was actually in not too bad condition overall. Again, you can see the edging, but not too bad. We got this one, this one's a fun, I think this is a uh, fire red and leaf green drowsy. Reverse. Got a base set nine tails. Nice one right there. Got a fun little Pikachu also from uh, Leaf Green or yeah, Leaf Green and Fire Red. Got a Neo for Alligator Hollow. Sadly, this one was not in too too great a condition. But that's a cool looking Hollow there. Was not expecting that one. And then we got even a little Totodile match. This one actually I think might be a little bit of grade quality. Might be able to sneak out like an eight or maybe a little bit higher on that. We got a pre-release Dark Gyarados from Team Rocket. Fun one, not in great condition. Got some squirrels, and I think these are gonna have a lot more first edition cards. Shelter, Misty Stormy. There's a first edition Cloyster, first edition Tentacle, first edition Misty's ten two Misty's Tentacles. Two different ones. And so I was pretty pretty happy to see a bunch of first editions kind of wrapped up in all these. Kind of made it fun. That's a fun looking trainer I hadn't really seen before. Misty's Wrath. You can see plenty more trainers, more first editions, Krabby, Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite. We did get a base set Charmander. Not in too good of condition. Eric Stratini. Got another EX series era Charmander and the Mudkip. Zubat, Charmeleon from that same era. And then here we're going to go into some other cards. So a lot of these other stacks I've already said is ones I think I'd want to grade moving into the future. These are going to be some of the cards from the other stacks that didn't want to grade but still wanted to look to sell on my own. So you can see we got a bunch of uh, Dragon Vault cards. And so 
That's nice because in Dragon Vault, pretty much all of them are hollows. You can see the shell gone, Dragonair, fractures, two different kinds of fractures. Awesome Dratini card. I love these Dratinis with the rainbow in the background. Got a different kind of Dratini. Axu and two different kinds. Going back to, I guess, some more vintage. We got Skip Loom, Bulbasaur, Blanche Charmander, some more EX series, Pichu and Chimeco. And so a pretty good amount of just a little bit of older cards to get to go through. Some of that I have not seen before, really. And so that was a blast to get to go through those. I think next, let's go for my monster stack right here. So these are going to be all hollows that I've gotten in this collection. It's going to be a nice big stack of cards. Look at that. Just stacks of top loaders. I'd say, I guess, overall, the total number of cards in this collection, I think, when I when we counted, was right about... Uh, he said it was 460. It definitely turned out to be more than that. I think I ended up getting closer to about 600 to 700 cards. And so pretty much paid about a dollar to dollar twenty-five, of, or sorry, dollar twenty-five to maybe a dollar fifty for every card. So looking at, of course, what you've seen so far and all the different ones in this collection, I think it was kind of worth it. Especially because once we start getting some of these bigger high dollar cards, I mean, that's where you really, really make your margins. And so I was happy to see that. And so let's go with this first stack right here. There's the Gujo from earlier, Typhlosion, some Milotix, Snorlax promo, Xerneas, Sigliff. Siglyph, we got a nice Magnezone, nice Blastoise. See that's from 2013. Decent little condition, might look to grade that one. Salamence, Robat, some Gardevoirs, Parisians, Yveltal, that Gardevoir again. Some Embors with the whole family around. Boars, Terrakian, nice little guard chomp. I think that's from Legendary Tre Treasures. A Dragon, Verizian, some nice Lucarios from Legendary Treasures. Teenies, Reshiram, a few Landorus, Articuno, Norvern, Zapdos, Hitmonchan. You'll see a lot of these are Legendary Treasure cards. Uh, who are, I guess the previous owner of this collection. I mean, they had a field day with all the cool sets they got to open. There was a, you know, Evolutions Nine Tails, and then we got two nice little Jolteons. And so, I would imagine how much fun it would have been to open up all the set at the time he did. Definitely would have been a blast. We got some Zoroarks, some nice Mewtwo, Mewtwo Hollows from Legendary Treasures. Another Zoroark, Raichu. Love that you can see the transitioning of the Hollow patterns from this era to this era. As you can see, this was in about 2014. I guess that's not a great... Yeah, yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, Sun and Moon Errors. So White Kyurem, some nice Gengars from Phantom Forces. Light, light, really like that hollow. Crocodile, fun little Bisharp right there with the dual typing. And then I didn't know these were really much of a thing, but these uh, hollow trainers, I think these are also from Dragon Vault Super Rods. Got a bunch of these experience shares, first tickets. I think we have some more first tickets right here. Bunch of these, really fun. Cresselia from Diamond and Pearl sets. Cario, Dragonite, Moltres, Scrafty, Articuno, Vanillix, Electros, Siglyph. Bunch of bunch of cool cards. There we go, there's a nice Plasma series. Metagross Hollow. One of my favorite arts for Metagross, Luxray. We got a nice little Dragonite. I know this one might technically be classified as a reverse, but I really, really just want to put it in this other group. That's a sick card right there. Champ, Volcarona, Vanillix, Chandelure, Zekrom, and Reshiram. A Dragon. Nice Plasma Umbreon Hollow. That's a sick card right there. I think this one's not too bad a condition. Yeah. Pretty nice condition card right there. Definitely look to grade that one. We got the Mew from Evolutions. Some of the early Sun and Moon starters and a Magneton, which I know this one has super low pop in certain grades. I know this one will definitely not be a 10, but a cool card nonetheless. And so you can see out of all the hollows we got, there's plenty to go through right there from a lot of the core sets. 
Uh, what stack do I want to grab next? Let's go for... Let's go look at some ultra rare cards. And so this is going to be all the ultra rares that we have. So you can see we got some Hoopy EXs, Mega Ad Adenos, and then the regular Adenos. We got Reshram EX, Zekrom EX, Full Art Shaman. Nice looking one right there. Amolga. We got a Plasma Lugia. Oh, I guess this one's from Legendary Treasures, but the nice Plasma Storm look. We got Agron Full Art, another Mega Adeno, Orgus EX Full Art, Skarmory. Got some bright cards like Nido King right there. You can see Rush Ram coming up again. Quaza, more Nido King. Gonna uh, got too many. A few Tyranitars. We got a Mega Pidgeot, Mega Rayquaza, Magirna, Tyrantum, another Hoopa, another Lugia. Like the Swamp DX. We got the Mega Venusaur, and we got some Black Kyurem, some White Kyurem, Victini. Just so many really cool cards. Like I said, I did not get to have these really much in my collection. Victini, Reshiram, another Black Kyurem. We got the Mewtwo right there. Giratina. Got Marowak, Florgus, Chestnut. We got the Mewtwo EX from Evolutions, Aegislash, and Shaman. Bunch of Ultra Rares right there. Full stack. Fun, fun one. Just didn't get to open these, and so getting all these really cool xy and sun and or early sun and moon uh series cards have been awesome i guess from here we can go into let's go into the the stack right here so this is going to be all radiant collection cards so i have just about a full set of radiant collection cards which i was not expecting when i was getting this and so you can see we got some of the meloetta exs normally and then we got a few of the full arts we got a bunch of these Amolgas, and so you can see, I believe we had a total of six copies of the Amolga EX Full Arts, and you can see they do range in condition, but these actually do look pretty decent for the most part. Definitely look to grade most of those. Moving on, we do have, I think, four copies of the Shaman EX Full Art. see a better look at that you know rating collection is definitely a very very unique set that's why i think was the biggest reason i picked up these is because out of the very unique sets that he had a lot of copies of i mean these are limited sets that just you do not see every day very different than the core sets and i just think that you know with some of these that i'm gonna grade i'm gonna look to sell immediately just to get some of that recoup some of that money i spent and then some of these I'm going to look to probably hold on to for a minute. And, you know, hopefully some of these cards will just look to gain value over time. Like I said, just for how unique of a set they became a part of. We got the nice Growlithe, the Purloins, Audino, Ursaring, Stunfisk. Fun little Stunfisk card. We did get some fun little starters that showed up in the set like Torchic and some Hippolups. We got the Pikachus, three of them right there. We got Sanchinos, got like five or six of these. Minchino, got Snivy and Servine, and then Sur Superior, and then a few Gard uh, Gardevoir and a Curlia. And so the Radiant Collection, again, was a really cool one. Again, going to be one of the big reasons I picked up this. And I think the even bigger reason I picked up this collection was going to be this deck right here. And so you had already seen some of the Dragon Vault cards, and man, I was so happy to see all the all the just decent quality dragon art or dragon vault cards that i think will do very very well moving forward in the future one of them being the stratini card which i said earlier i just love the stratini artwork not too bad a condition on most of these we got a few of the others axes dragon air i love how dragon air also has that rainbow pattern and so these ones were definitely considered to be a little bit better condition than the other ones you'd seen in that stack in the back. And so these are the ones I think I do want to send into grading at some point. We got Fractures, Dragonites, Shellgons. We got a Haxorus with the Dragon Vault logo and some regular Haxorus. So many of the Haxorus. We got Latius, 
two of the Dragon Bolts stamps and then the actual regular hollow two of the Latios Salamance we got two of those we got two Drudigons and then one with the stamp and then we got probably the big boys from these the three Rayquazas and so you can see this is one of my favorite Rayquaza cards I don't have one yet and so I'm definitely hoping one of these grades out pretty well you can see some of these for the most part definitely no perfect scores here but if one of them can get it like at least a CGC 9, I will definitely look to hold on to that bad boy. And so that is a fun stack of cards right there. Definitely going to be a lot of probably the potential value in this collection is going to be in that stack right there. I will say this one, I, this con collection I did buy in two parts. I had actually originally looked to buy all of this at once, but they accidentally had thought that I only looked to purchase this stack right here. And so we ended up doing, having to do a little bit of renegotiating, and so I did get this stack first, hence why it's already been sorted first, but this one did have some pretty big heavy hitters, and I think was one of the first points in which I really was looking to get value out of what I saw here. And was a, basically, I had only looked at bid on this stack first before the rest of these even showed up in the collection, and so it was really cool getting to, you know, pretty much not only get what I wanted, which was this stack, but just open up the door to the rest of these cards. I pretty much paid, I think, four to 450 for this stack right here, making the rest of these about 500. And so, like I said, this one is definitely where some of the bigger heavy hitters really start coming out. You can see we got Glaceon EX, we got the nice secret where secret rare Gardevoir EX from Steam Siege. We got some Phantom Forces Gengars, which I think are some really, really kind of sneaky cards that most people don't think about, but we got two of the Megas, Silveon GX from Guardians Rising, Snorlax GX, another one of the Gardevoir Secret Rares, a nice Full Art Silveon GX, just a regular Gengar EX, and a Steven Full Art. Keeping it going, you can see we got the Hoopa Full Art, Lysander's Trump Card, Lapras Rainbow, some Howl Trainers Full Arts, Silveon GX, there's one of the Gengar Hollows, but this one, unlike the other ones, is actually one of the like Cosmic Hollows. That's kind of a fun one right there. We got Mega Gardevoir EXs. We got two of them. Marwile, Mega Ampharos, Regular Ampharos. Two of those. Got some Flash Fire cards, which I really don't have any of, like the Mega Houndoom EX. Got Bridget, Charizard EX. We got the Full Art Articuno. Got some Zoroark breaks. There's some more Radiant Collection cards, two Growlithe and a Gardevoir. Nine Tails, of course, being one of my favorites, it really caught my eye when they had four of these full art Aloma Nine Tails GXs from Guardians Rising. Definitely was super enticing to go there. We got the Sylveon, and then we got the Mew EX from Radiant, um, from the Radiant Collection, Legendary Treasures. I guess it's Legendary Treasures with that down there, but yeah, Radiant Collection. Look at that. I guess I'll set that down. Definitely not too bad a condition card. But then we got the Lugia EX from Ancient Origins. I just picked up this card actually in a 10, and so I don't really look to hold on to this one, but figured I could definitely get some good value out that to the right person, especially in my area. We got a nice full art Glaceon EX. We got some Gengar full arts. These ones are super exciting to see what they could do. I mean, they go for actually a ridiculous amount just for raw cards, let alone if one of these was to grade out at like a, let's call it a 9 or something like that. Charizard EX from Evolutions. And then we even got two of the Charizard Hollows from Legendary Treasures. One of these I think is a little bit better condition than the other. Neither the, I think this one's a little bit better. None of them perfect. I think I would probably peek out at a 9 on both of these in CGC. But... You always do it for the chance that they might do a little bit better. But either way, those are some nice cards right there. And this stack was fun to, like I said, get first. And then it was really just waiting for the rest of these to show up. And then these are going to be some kind of unique cards that I've pulled out of all these other stacks. As ones that I was not expecting and I only noticed afterwards kind of what these were. I would never seen these flare cards before. And so these are pretty unique. Not great condition on one of them, but just, you know, unique trainer cards. Ones that I don't think you see too often. 
we did have one of the actual Pokemon first movie Pikachu promos. Nice one right there. Don't have one of those for my collection. So that was fun one that I will probably keep. Imanuki question mark reverse. This one's a sleeper card. I didn't realize that this one raw is going for like almost probably 60 bucks. Imagine if I could get one of the first graded ones, especially now that the CGC pop counts are out. Could get one of the first graded cards of this would be fun as a fun little you know idea that I can maybe sell it for a little bit of a premium. I'm gonna move these to the back because I think those are probably the bigger ones out of the rest of these. We did get a Pichu Hollow from Neo Set, Japanese. Just a pretty gorgeous card. Definitely beat up, but I love the just different colors going on in the background there. The red and the blue kind of clash. We even got a little swirl over his, over Pichu's head. Definitely one I didn't know I needed. We got an Ancient Mew, because you gotta have an Ancient Mew in your collection, and I don't have one. These next are here. Let's, we're gonna pull this one right here. And so we did get a nice Delta Species Latios Hollow. Not a crazy expensive card, but again, pretty cool one. I think it might do well at CGC. And then these two right here was not expecting either. These are two shiny secret rares for Chandler and Superior. I think these cards themselves almost pay. I mean, I think this one's going for about 60, 80 bucks. So 150 just for these two cards. Pretty crazy, let alone if they grade out and grade well. I think, obviously, you can see this one has a little bit of issue. The chandelier has a little bit of a corner issue. But I think getting these slabbed up no matter what is definitely going to be a priority for myself. And then these last two being two staff promos from Fates Collide. The Time Ranch are being a really big one. I know this one, even in eights, are selling for 250 plus from PSA. And then you got the Zygarde, which I don't even know how, how many of those are even available. And so, and of course, nothing crazy on how well they are. They're definitely probably near mint, maybe lightly played. And so cross fingers, you could get eights or nines on these. But two awesome staff promos, which I don't have any staff promos. And so that was fun to get to have the possibility of picking these up for the collection. And so that's a quick rundown of my thousand dollar collection purchase. How do y'all think this collection looks? Do you think or looks? Do you think I spent my money well? You think I maybe should have been looking for different kinds of collections? Are there anything that y'all really liked in this whole collection look at that you're like, man, I really want that? Because I will tell you, if you're interested, shoot me a message, shoot me or sh shoot me something down in the comments below. My email's down in the description. I would love to get some of these cards to y'all if y'all are looking to fill out a collection, uh, fill out a master set. And so would love to make a deal with y'all there. You know, I try to be good with people from the YouTube. And so would love to see y'all there. I guess everything else, please check me out on my Instagram and uh, TikTok. Links down in the description below. And that's going to finish out this video. I want to thank you all for watching, and we will see you guys next time.